What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I wanted to talk about the Meguiar's lineup of wheel cleaners, specifically Hot Wheels. Now, I've talked about this product in the past, the Hot Wheels wheel and tire cleaner, but if you're like, I, I was just at my local Walmart and they had three options that you could choose from. If that's confusing to you, uh, we're gonna jump into it and see exactly which product is for what. So the three options that we have are wheel and tire cleaner, Hot Rims Chrome wheel cleaner, and Hot Rims Aluminum Wheel Cleaner. Now you may be thinking like, hey, is there really a difference? And yes, there is, for sure. And it is specific to which one you need. Now basically what it is, um, we're gonna jump into it. We, I, I was recently doing a detail for a customer. I had these products with me. I wanted to test them out to, uh, and show you guys a good visual of which one works the best and why you would use the other one. Okay, so really quickly, I was just editing the video, getting everything all done, and I realized I did not do a very good job of explaining the difference between the aluminum wheel cleaner and the others, but basically the majority of wheels are aluminum or alloy, right? Alloy and aluminum are the same thing. So basically what we have is either an alloy slash aluminum wheel, a steel wheel, or a chrome wheel. Uh, the difference here, I think that they didn't do the best job with the branding on this, just writing aluminum. What this is for is a polished aluminum wheel, something that doesn't have a coating on it. Most wheels, like I said, are aluminum alloy, um, but most of them have either a painted surface or a clear coated surface over the top. That's where you get into being able to use the more aggressive products, not a big deal. But on the polished surfaces, that's where you wanna be super, super careful and you wanna use this gentle one. So throughout the rest of the video, I'm gonna say it's not an aluminum wheel, even though it is, um, it's, it's, it's a, not a polished aluminum wheel, and that's what I mean, so. That's it guys, I just wanna throw in that little disclaimer for you, so you, a, a little more clarification on that. First off guys, the aluminum wheel cleaner. Aluminum is a pretty sensitive material to some harsher chemicals. It can cause, it's usually on like older muscle cars or older like VW buses and things like that. This is a pretty specific product. Um, it's interesting to me that they stock this so heavily at Walmart, because again, it's not every wheel, um, but it is specially formulated for aluminum wheels and sensitive finishes. It gently loosens brake dust and road drive. Now I will tell you guys, this is probably the least powerful of these three. Um, it's definitely gonna be the gentlest, so you're gonna be safe, but there is no chance that you can get away using this without having to agitate the wheel. For me as a professional detailer, time is everything, and if I can spray on a product and get in there with my pressure washer and blast it all out and make it look perfect just from pressure washing, that's the key, that's what I like the most. So next up guys is the uh, chrome wheel cleaner. Pretty self-explanatory here. It's just formulated specifically for chrome finishes. Um, not too, I, I mean, I feel like chrome finishes have gone away, um, but they're still out there for sure. You can get brand new cars with chrome wheels, like for sure. Um, so this, I get why they have this specifically. And then the third one is the wheel and tire cleaner. This I use, um, I like this stuff a lot. I don't use it in my everyday professional business just because I can't buy it in bulk. They do have similar products that you can't get in bulk. We'll talk about that down the road. But today specifically, we're talking about these three because these are the ones that are readily available for everyone. So let's go ahead and jump into the video I took now. This is while I was working on, it was a 2009 BMW 330. Um, and BMWs are pretty notoriously known for the wheels, the brake dust building up on the wheels and then pitting into the wheel. Now if you use a, a cleaner that's not strong enough, it's not gonna do anything for you. It's like etched in there. You, you, a lot of times you try and just clean it with your, like take a chemical and try and scrub it out and it doesn't budge at all. So having the right product here is key and I figured this would be a great opportunity to show you. So let's go ahead and jump into it. But first, if you like these types of videos, anything related to car detailing, tips, tricks, how to's and product reviews, then please consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. Now let's jump back to the video. Okay guys, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start off uh, using each product on one wheel. So first wheel up here, guys, we're gonna be using the wheel and tire cleaner. As you can see, as you spray it on, all three of these are gonna come out kind of foamy and stick onto the uh, surface of the wheel, which I like. It just gives you, it gives it more time to work. Same with using a foam cannon. Um, the reason I like using a foam cannon for my soap, same thing, it just clings on there, gives it more time to actually break stuff down. So you can see already, right on the tire surface, uh, it's turning brown, it's breaking up all the dirt This is embedded into the rubber. Um, it's also, it, it doesn't look like it's doing much to the wheel itself. Um, I'll go in and touch it and you can see like, uh, yeah, it comes up once I touch it, but it looks like it's probably not gonna do the best job. I will tell you guys a secret though, this stuff's amazing, it works really, really well. It'll be a surprise once I sp spray it for you, even though I'm telling you now, it'll still be a surprise. Now going on to the next wheel, we're gonna be using the Hot Rims Aluminum Wheel Cleaner. This is on a rear wheel. 
Typically on these BMWs, the rear wheel doesn't get as bad as the fronts. Um, so this is going onto a, uh, onto a surface that's not as bad as that front one. So here we go, spraying it on. Like, like I said, guys, you can see it's the exact same kind of application. It's going on foamy. Looks to be doing the same exact thing, not breaking down a ton of stuff, just um, some of the professional grade wheel and tire cleaners that I use in my business. Um, as you spray, you see stuff starting, starting to melt off. Um, this, we're not seeing that at all, um, but we'll check on that in a second. And then last up, we're gonna be using the chrome cleaner. Uh, again, now this is not necessarily fair because again, the aluminum uh, wheel cleaner is not going onto an aluminum wheel. The chrome cleaner is not going onto a chrome wheel. I'm just showing the aggressiveness of these chemicals to break stuff down and because essentially the aluminum is the sensitive uh, surface cleaner. Um, the chrome is right in the middle and the wheel cleaner, all wheel cleaner is kind of the go-to for me personally at least in most situations. Okay guys, I'm gonna get to rinsing these off now, but I wanna let you know I d I'm editing this in uh, a way that I think makes the most sense. However, you do wanna pay attention to the dwell time of the product on the wheel. You don't wanna let it sit too long, you don't wanna let it dry on the wheel. So for the all wheel cleaner, they actually state, uh, let the product dwell for no more than 30 seconds. Do not let product dry on the wheel. So very important there. For the chrome cleaner, same thing here guys, except do not let the product dwell for more than 15 seconds on this, at least on chrome wheels. And if you're not letting it dwell for more than 15 seconds, obviously that same thing, it means do not let it dry completely on the wheel. So important there. And the last one, the Hot Rims uh, uh, aluminum cleaner. This one actually says, let product dwell for at least 30 seconds, but do not let the product dry on the wheel. So what I do with this one is I'll spray it on, let it dwell for, 30 seconds or so, and then I'll spray another coat on just to give it a little bit longer of a dwell time. And since I'm spraying more on, I'm reducing the risk of it actually drying on because we're adding more product and keeping it, keeping it lubricated. So uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and jump into the rinse offs now. Okay, so here we go, back to the wheel and tire cleaner. This is this one here, and we're gonna go ahead and start the rinse off process. As you can see, just the surface of the wheel hasn't done much. It's not like a, the, that product's dissolving off or anything, but let's go ahead and use the pressure washer on it. Now I am using a pressure washer that operates at about 1200 PSI at about 1.7 GPM, just for your reference. Um, a lower one's still gonna get the job done, but here we go guys, we're gonna go ahead and rinse it down. And as you can see, it is blasting off all this stuff. No problem at all. Leaving the surface super clean, super nice. Um, I like to kind of angle my uh, pressure washer wand behind the spokes and everything and clean out that barrel of the wheel as well. And typically that stuff is caked on there, but this product did an absolutely great job of getting in there and breaking that stuff up um, with no agitation and it's still getting a pretty good, pretty good result there on the, on the barrel of the wheel. Now I can't, with this one, I'll typically go in and still agitate the barrel of the wheel, um, but Overall guys, really, really fantastic product. Works super fast, really easy to use. Moving on to the aluminum cleaner now. So it basically looks the same as the uh, wheel and tire did, but let's go ahead and spray it off now. And as you can see, a bit of a letdown. It's not doing the same job, anywhere near the same job as the original wheel and, clean, wheel and tire cleaner that I used on that front wheel. Um, again though, this one is designed for your sensitive finishes. Like I said, aluminum um, on a lot of older vehicles and things like that, it, if you spray a really strong chemical on there, it can almost pit the aluminum. Um, it'll cause like a little cracking look effect to it. You don't want that. Um, so using a nice safe uh, product like this from Meguiar's is absolutely essential. Make sure you use that on your sensitive surfaced wheels. And last up now guys, we're gonna go back to the wheel that I sprayed down with the chrome cleaner. And here we go, rinsing it down. And you, as you can see guys, this is kind of right in the middle. It's not doing as good of a job as the, all, uh, uh, as the wheel and tire cleaner, but it's getting the wheel significantly more clean than the uh, aluminum cleaner did. Okay guys, so that's it. There you have it. Um, the go-to for me 99% of the time, right here right, the uh, wheel and tire cleaner. Keep a bottle of chrome with you. If you're, if, if you're doing cars for people, keep a bottle of chrome, you never know when you're gonna need it. And definitely keep a bottle of this stuff just because those sensitive surfaces you can damage if you use a too, too aggressive of a product on them. So for those aluminum wheels, very, very important. So if you're only gonna buy one, I for sure would recommend this one and then just using it very sparingly on any other surface. I still, I wouldn't, I actually probably wouldn't use that on an aluminum wheel just because you do have that risk of damaging it. Um, on a chrome wheel, I'd be okay with it. Personally, 
use it at your own risk, test a little spot, but um, I wouldn't be too scared to do that. Just spray it on there, don't let it dwell too long, rinse it off, go in and then fine tune with your hand, um, you know, and a microfiber towel and just wipe it all up. This one, I'm assuming, is gonna be formulated to not leave any streaks uh, or less streaking on a chrome wheel versus this one. So, um, but that's it, guys. These three products are absolutely phenomenal. They all work really, really well. Um, I'm assuming for the majority of you out there, you're gonna want the uh, wheel and tire cleaner uh, right there. So these are all super easy to get. Uh, I picked these, all three of these up at Walmart, but it should be at O'Reilly, all that kind of good stuff. And I really like them, they're, they're good products. So that's it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that video helps. Please make sure to like the video, make sure you subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and we'll see you on the next one.